What is up, everybody? Hopefully you're having a wonderful day. I got a viewer question and comment, so I'm gonna go make a video on it. I was actually planning on making this video anyways, but since he asked, I'm gonna throw it in here. Pokey Mike, why are basically all the Tokyo Revengers cards sold out even on TCG Player? It's been out one to two weeks now, but I'm struggling to find some TRVs and SP to buy for my collection. I don't understand. I don't think there has been any delays in certain countries. I'd assume there would be plenty of pools to buy. So what we're going to be doing today is Tokyo Avengers expected value. This is going to be fun. I did a video about buying or investing in Tokyo Avengers. I love those videos because it gets my mind set for how much I really want to buy for my own collection and if I want to actually invest in a set. This was what I said about it at the very end. It is a strong anime. People really do love this anime. Huge following for it. Girls are not the focus in this set. That meant that dudes need to actually pick up the price to make this set worth opening. Meta strength is just okay. There will be an anime season two for January 2023. What I said about that is if Tokyo Avengers does well, we may see a set two, which could enhance this volume one set as we are thinking is going to happen with seven deadly sins. Now, this released on July 29th, 2022. The main thing I bolded and made extra big this time around was there is one SSP and three TRVs. The very important part about that is TRVs are not signature cards. I said before that I do not like how this is going. I want my signature cards. I don't want this over frame rare taking a slot that should be a signed card. Now we're going to look at the sealed prices. We're going to start out with the case. The case price is $923 dollars and 97 cents i added the shipping in there on the screen you can see 898.98 dividing that by 18 that means the booster box price is 51 dollars and 33 cents you're gonna see on the booster box 49.95 i know there's this whole talk about dead boxes and people just kind of getting rid of it in this case there are some people actually trying to do that the other side of it is people are just trying to get rid of the boxes that might not actually be search. You need to go and click on the seller and see what they're selling. You can see why I'm saying there is a lack of interest. If you look on TCG Player and see this history, you'll see not many boxes have been sold. The booster SSPs are your only signed cards of the set. You only get one per case. This is the prices from Yuyute. We know that these do not represent English, right? English normally has a higher amount of price just because there is a lower quantity. Every day I'm starting to think that that ratio shouldn't hold up anymore because print to demand, even though there's not as many of them, there should be enough to fill people's wants and desires. So that ratio shouldn't be times two or one and a half. Anyways, what we see here from the Japanese side is Mikey is your biggest card, 598. We have Hina, 250. And then we also have the other lady, Emma, 128. I want to tell you that because I'm going to show you what it shows on TCG Player. On TCG Player, you will see Hina 80382, Yuyute 250, and 250 is with being sold out, then that should be higher than 250 because it's sold out. But do you think it's actually 803? No, because I could go on Facebook Global right now and buy one for $340. Also on TCG Player, you will see down there Baji $500.12. That is wrong as well. I left that exactly the same when I did this average. Why? Because because it doesn't matter. SSP average equals $335.62, one per case. We have 14 TRVs in this set. There are no signatures on here. These are the ones that actually sold so far. You can see varying ranges, and that's what Pokey Mike was talking about. Some of these are sold out. There's not as many as they should be. TRV average, 54, 64. I didn't bother messing with the numbers here. We have three per case, so $163.92. Here is the UUT prices. On here, they roughly look like they're doubled the price. I wonder if that's how people actually price these things. Now, we have eight triple rares. Triple rare average is $5.60. I don't know how many are in a case. I didn't bother trying to watch videos to figure it all out or do that. There are 23 SRs. The SR average is $3.40. I just put the top eight on here. I'm not going to put all 23 pictures. As with the triple rares, I do not know how many 
are in a case. Lastly, there are two play sets on average that you can make per case. I am putting that at $200 each. That is what I am seeing a play set with no trial decks go for at this point. Now we have the expected value. You're going to see on the screen SSP, TRV, two play sets, subtotal $899.54. I say subtotal because I did not add in any of the triple rares or SRs since I don't know how many you get in a case. No matter what, in the end, it is not enough. It wasn't enough for people to actually open this and just try to flip sell like you saw with other sets. There wasn't enough there because that number up above with SSP is bolded because I didn't change any of the numbers like that Baji on there. Even you could change Emma if you wanted to. There were some SSPs that needed to come down. Even if I didn't make it go down, it didn't make any difference. I don't think people are opening this because it is not worth it and that is why you cannot find some of those collector type foils. One of the things if you haven't noticed on YouTube is openings. Openings will appear the night before the release. You could say midnight. Some people go a little bit earlier than that but you will see these appear on YouTube and this time around there was not a whole lot of openings. There were people that normally do openings that didn't actually do one this time around. Tokyo Revengers there was an extreme lack of interest. Maybe they didn't sell place that's this time around and they don't want to open. Maybe they just didn't care to make a video. I don't know what happened but using this gives me another data point that tells me I'm exactly right that Tokyo Avengers did not have that kind of momentum, interest, anything like that. Since we did the booster box we might as well take a quick look at the trial deck as well. $15.99 is what it is selling for on TCG player. Not a whole lot sold since August 1st. The SPs in the trial deck is normally what carries the value. This time around it will be I'll protect you Hinata which is going to be the card you want inside of the trial deck whether it is signed or unsigned. That is sitting on TCG player at $450. The Takamichi $440. That Takamichi is completely wrong. Not even close to reality. Look at what it was on Yuyute 30. We had Hina at $250. On Facebook Global they are both priced at $385. I made Takamichi $150, Hina $385 for a total of $535. Inside of the trial deck, you will get I'll Protect You Hinata as a regular trial deck card. Hopefully you're lucky and you pull that SP parallel. If not, you can see what's happening on TCG Player. People are buying a ton of this at $5. Can you imagine that? People sell open trial decks for $10. Just these cards alone, you get two of them is $10 right there. You can see down below, look at that dude. On August 2nd, 20 of them sold for 35 cents. Someone did not pay attention to the worth of that actual card and missed out. To wrap this all up, dudes did not compensate for the lack of waifu value in the SSP slot. When we have a set that is not as strong, you are hoping that the IP carries it the rest of the way, that the character carries the value. Just think about Rent a Girlfriend with Chizuru and some of the other girls holding that value even though the set wasn't the greatest. Meta strength in this set is just okay. This is causing the play sets to be $200. That is a lack of demand on the player side. When you take a look at the quantity of YouTube video openings for Tokyo Avengers, it's a lot lower than other sets. You have to ask yourself why didn't those people actually make videos. All that combined together, we have a set that is not being open due to the lack of interest, due to the lack of value. For anybody out there waiting for cards, you might actually have to open it yourself this time around if you really do want it, which could be a fun experience. Hopefully this helps you out. As always, have fun, be happy, and don't spend anything outside of your budget. Have a good one.